All right, guys, I'ma just say it right now. 2019 has probably been the best year for SH Figure Arts as a whole. At me. So what's going on guys? How are you guys doing today? This is Star Blast Studios and today we are going to be ranking all of the SH figure wars from Dragon Ball that came out this year. Now, I just want to say before going over this list that this is all one of those lists that is really my opinion, but I try to put in as much logic behind, you know, the ranking of each figure, which one is my personal preferences and why I feel like each figure is better. But you know what? The, the way that this list is... <laughs> there's so many different there's so many different things that came out this year that other people are going to like over the others and so I've actually had a really really hard time making this list right now uh, that you're about to see and I just want to let you know that if you if you want to have your own list for the top 10 figures of 2019 go ahead and put it down in the comment section down below tell me what you guys think is the best figure and what the best figures are and you know without any further ado Let's get right into it. Number 17, event exclusive Bulma. It's not really surprising that you'd see Bulma this low on the list considering that she was the lowest on the list last year with the with not an exclusive version and you know this is basically the exact same figure but with purple hair. Moving on. Number 16, Android 21. Now, I actually really got a credit to Mashi Nations with what they did with Android 21. I feel like they captured her exceptionally well. Really, really well compared to most of the figures that are gonna, you're gonna see on this list in a little bit. But the real problem with this figure is that it has so many problems standing up. And when, it, when, you, when you have that kind of a problem with an action figure, like all things aside, if it cannot properly stand up, if the high heels are giving her balancing issues, you just can't have her that high on the list. Honestly, that's my critique with Android 21. Moving on. Number 15, event exclusive Golden Frieza. I don't feel like it's fair to be able to put th this figure anywhere higher on the list simply due to the fact that there is not too many differences between this Golden Frieza and the original Golden Frieza back when we got the back when we got that one uh, with the Resurrection F movie. Now, my issue with this is it's just like, we didn't really get too much that was new. You're not really missing out on anything if you don't get this and you have the older Frieza. And that's really one of the reasons why I didn't pick this figure up. And so I am breaking it at number 15. Number 14, Mr. Satan. Now, I gotta give credit where credit is due. They absolutely went and tried their best with this uh, with this Mr. Satan figure in terms of accessories. They gave us a whole lot of exceptional different faces. Heck, they even gave us different belt parts, which I've never seen on a figure arts figure before, and that is fantastic. And they've also gave us a really cool cape. You even get that dog that you can go and pose that with Fat Boo, him and Mr. Satan. That, that's actually really cool. But in terms of the figure, okay, they really are slacking on this. The figure has a whole lot of limited articulation. You cannot pose this guy really well in, in like, well, you can get him into as many of the poses that you would want to with a Mr. Satan figure, but you really can't go any much farther beyond that. Like, you can barely bend his arms, and you can't even bend them 90 degrees. And the legs, you can't even move them all the way up because they didn't—they went the lazy route and made it so you can't even kick the leg all the way because the, the upper shirt piece thing kind of hinders it. And so that's where my problem stands with Mr. Satan, and that's why he is ranked at number 14. Number 13. Event exclusive Ultimate Gohan. Now, I really don't have any real critiques with this figure because it's pretty much exactly the same that we got. Just the main problem, it, it kind of slacked off on some of the uh, actual aspects of painting the figure. In terms of paint, there isn't too much differences between this one and the original. I will say that they sculpted the faces a little bit better though, but you're not really getting too much out of uh, for out of your money. Now the thing that people are gonna go and buy this for is the new Super Saiyan hair that you get with this thing and I feel like that's really cool but you know I don't think it looks that good in all honesty like you still have that same problem with the original Ultimate Gohan like with the with the big forehead and, and stuff on him which is kind of a bothersome and I really wish that they would have just taken the opportunity to go and make a 2.0 Gohan because I feel like this was a really lazy exclusive and they re wasn't really all that necessary for them to go to release since they pretty much had three exclusives out this year already. And so that's why Ultimate Gohan is ranked number 13. 
Number 12, the SH Figure Arts Kid Krillin. I know a lot of people love this figure. I know my homie Dex, he used this guy. He is so full of life, so full of energy, and I love seeing Kid Krillin on this man's screen. But the problem that I have with this thing is it's not really that much different from Kid Goku, and because of that, I don't feel like I could, it would be fair if I ranked him any higher on the list. You're pretty much getting a Kid Goku figure, but with the replacement has been for Kid Krillin. Now, it's gonna be really controversial from, from the Kid Goku that you're gonna see later on the list, which is the event exclusive, but the reason why he's gonna be a little bit higher on the list as opposed to Kid Krillin is because he has a lot of differences from the original one, and I really do not mind them going and reusing bodies as so long as they make it di uh, different enough from the, from the other one, uh, you know, to justify the reusing of the, the mold. So there we go, Kid Krillin is number 12. Number 11. Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black event exclusive. I really do appreciate what they were doing with this figure. They went and tried a, a whole bunch of different stuff with this thing for an event exclusive and they did a pretty good job of it, I gotta say. One of the things that not a lot of people realize about this figure, or or have I realized is initially upon opening it, is that it's supposed to be Goku Black's clone. It's not actually supposed to be Goku Black himself. Like, maybe it's, okay, maybe it's not actually supposed to be Goku Black's clone, but I mean, come on. You put this event exclusive ne next to the clones, it, it's, it's quite obviously the clone. The, okay, despite all the differences, I feel like with the original Goku Black figure, you're pretty much getting more bang for your buck at that point. And with what you're getting right here, you know, you're getting a cool R effect, and that's really cool. I'm happy that we're getting an R effect. I'm happy that we're, that that they're trying a whole lot of stuff. I don't really feel like it ended up working with the release of this figure. Though I will say, though, it is really cool to take the base figure, the, the, the base uh, Goku Black Super Saiyan Rose hair from the original and putting it on this body. You pretty much get the perfect Goku Black um, Super Saiyan Rose body, but I have to judge the figure the way it is, and that's why Goku Black is at number 11. Now, finally, all honorable mentions aside, we are getting into the top 10 SH Figuarts releases of 2019. Number 10, the event exclusive Kid Goku. Without a shadow of a doubt in my mind, Kid Goku, this exclusive, is the best one out of all of them. What you saw with Golden Frieza was was just a small little repaint. What you saw with Goku Black was a lot of heavy, like a little bit of plastic retooling, but essentially a repaint. And what you got with Gohan, okay, do I do I even need to say it? it's a repaint, but with small little like molding to his face, so you know that they look a little bit better. But with Kid Goku, you straight up get a whole new outfit with this guy, and there, there is not any okay. When you go and make an exclusive figure, and you give this guy a whole new outfit that is more representative to what sh to what you see in the in the original Dragon Ball than you do with the non-exclusive variants of Kid Goku, that's where this guy gets a plus above all of the exclusive, in my opinion. And what I really love about this guy is he comes with an alternate face that we initially saw like uh, on display uh, with the with the original Kid Goku before. Um, you know, it was actually released that they went and decided to go and throw onto this exclusive, and that is why I'm really happy with this. And he gets a lot of points, and that is why he is ranked number 10. Number 9 Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Now, I really do appreciate what they went and did with the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. They, you know, they made his armor all blue, you know, they made it all darker. It, I really looks, it looks really cool and is probably my honest to God favorite Vegeta. But the thing is that really, and, and okay, and what I also really do appreciate with this thing is that they went and gave him a Super Saiyan God head. And, and you know, you can get him into a whole bunch of like different poses with him and Super Saiyan God Goku. But the problem that I have with him is the same problem that is present on the original Vegeta. And I really feel like they should go and fix that by now. It is his damn ankles, man. You really cannot get this guy posed in, in a lot of different ways because these ankles are really outdated. Now, he is a probably the funnest figure. And, and I'm gonna have a I mean I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna have a lot more fun than I than I am with with this guy than I, than I feel like I am with the figure that is coming up next on the list, which you're gonna you're gonna find out what that is in a second. Because I am a biased Vegeta guy, but in terms of figures, that is why he is ranked at number 9. Number 8. Great Salmon. I had to do so many re-recordings because I had to rearrange where Great Salmon was on the list, but I'm, I'm pretty much happy to where he is right now, ranking at number 8. He comes with a whole lot of accessories to where you can get him into the different variants of Gohan 
in his base form, Gohan in his Super Saiyan, and then the two different variations of the Great Saiyan Man, like with him posed on this body. You also get the cape that you can, they did a lot of nice engineering to this guy. He also comes jam-packed with a whole lot of really good articulation and just, this is a really well done figure. I genuinely think that this is probably the most underrated figure out of all of them in all of 2019. Fantastic figure, Tamashi Nations. Good job. Number seven, the Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Now, I will say objectively as a figure, that great Saiyan man is probably better than the Goku but uh, the reason why this Goku is ranking higher is because I feel it's, it's just because of the price point when it comes to the price point you know and what you actually you know are getting you are getting a slightly retooled world of the Saiyan rays on earth Goku that you did last year but I love it when they go and they give a figure a new pr a special price point and that's why I feel like he should be a little bit higher just because of that and also he comes with a really some really nice like uh, super saiyan blue faces you know the really nice hair though I do feel like they could have retooled the hair a little bit but just because of the fact that you know it's not as accurate to the show as it could be but just because of the price point and like what this figure does you know for for the line I feel like this is the placement that he deserves to be in. number six this might come to a surprise to you but it is our man our boy Gogeta Super Saiyan Blue I love this figure so much it, it, I have so much fun posing this guy Putting him on the shelves. I love that he comes with the base form head. I love the this. I love that the expressions that that he has are actually sculpted by Shintani himself, the guy who animated the Gogeta versus Broly fight at the end of the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. He's the guy who went and made these faces, and that is why they look so good. They look fantastic. I love these. I love that they did, they did that. But the reason why I feel like Gogeta is where he is right now is because I just feel like he he does not he can't he really can't move his arms in a whole lot and it, that's just a shame because when you look at you know figures like Goku and Vegeta you're able to move their arms in a lot and you know there's not really any size differences with the arms between the two so I don't know why his arms are so limited and also he has that same issue with Gotenks though it's not as big of a problem you can't really move his faces the same exact way that you you, you would wish that you could and I really wish that they would have fixed that problem ahead of time you know, before making the Gogeta so that you wouldn't have that big of a problem. But other than that, this Gogeta is fantastic. Probably my, if I'm going to be honest, what my closest to my favorite figure of 2019. Absolutely fantastic. You can definitely go and rank him higher on the list. I absolutely have no problem with that. You know, go and make, that is why I'm saying, go and make your own list. Go, go, go and do that, guys. Number five, Super Boo. Uh, now, there's others there's other reviews out there that put this guy at number one and I absolutely agree this super boo if I'm gonna be honest is is a really cool figure he has all of the articulation that you would need on this guy he comes with all of the accessories that you know you would you would essentially need with the super boo I don't really feel like any like special effects are required with this guy he even comes with a, with an accessory that you can put on the fat boo with his candy beam as well I really don't have any problems with this guy he has Though I feel like one thing that is also lacking with him is his ankles though. I really cannot, you know, I, I can't really fault him for that. He, he, he has a whole lot, you know, already to him and it doesn't really like hinder too, too much of his articulation at all if you ask me. The one thing that I really feel bothers me about this guy is just like he doesn't really stand out on the shelf as much as other figures and maybe a little bit of my personal bias is getting in the way because I don't really like Super Boo and I know I shouldn't be letting that get in the way of me ranking the figures but it, it kind of does a little bit so that is why I'm ranking him as number five. Number four, the SH Figuarts Merge Zamasu. I know a lot of people have problems with these guys but the problems that I that they have with these figures with, with this merge Zamasu figure is not a problem with me at all if, if there is a flaw with the figure and it gives you some enhanced improvements that's when I think you know that it's not really that big of a deal because you're getting something out of a out of a certain problem with the figure I don't understand what people are saying when they say that the hands that now I'm talking about the non the, the non corrupted not the corrupted hands the regular hands are too big I don't see that as a problem at all. If you have the figure in hand, it does not bother you. It's not that big of a deal. I'm, I was even confused in the first place with why people think that the hands are too big. 
Now, if he, if you're, if you have a problem with him being too small, look. If you saw him in the anime, right next to Goku with Vegito and and, and everyone that he fought, he was pretty much the ex exact same height. I mean, he is representative of that in figure form. It, it, he's pretty much as accurate as you can get to get him because he comes with him in his base form, which is which is him in his regular size and in the corrupted form. Yes, there was that scene in the anime where he got bigger and and you know with his, when he was in the corrupted form. But this guy is is like giving you two different variants. If you want him to be bigger, well then I don't know what you got to do. You got to go get your own custom. But essentially, Merge Zamasu probably one of my favorite figures with he's jam-packed with a ton of accessories that make this guy so much fun he comes with some really nice a well executed articulation the, the skirt does not get in the way of him at all and I, I really do enjoy this figure a whole lot love this thing man number three the sh figure arts full power broly this figure is fantastic absolutely the sculpting on this is probably some of the best sculpting we have on any figure that we've gotten in all of 2019 from Dragon Ball, from the SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball line. The, he comes with a whole lot of shading on there, and his faces are sculpted so well. I really enjoy this figure. The articulation is really well executed as well into the actual figure. The one problem that I somewhat have with this guy is that his arms can't, re can't really move all of the way. And... You know, you're not really going to get him into any poses that require him to, to, you know, move his arms in all that much because they act, you know, because he's a he's a big guy. But, you know, I like to get my figures into really expressive pose for really nice action shots. And sometimes, you know, those arms will get in the way of actually going and posing the figure. And that is why he is in my number three spot. Number two, the armored bro. Okay, <laughs> I've seen a lot of people go and put the full power Broly in the armored Broly. In a tie and I absolutely agree but I you know and I really did not want to make them tied up because I feel like that's kind of cheap so I'm just gonna go with the armored Broly it's not really fair for the full power Broly to be you know the way he is because he's just like he's being one form of Broly while this other guy is being three different forms of Broly you have him in you, this Broly comes with a whole lot he got him in his base form he got him in his Super Saiyan and he got him in the in the wrathful form and I really enjoy all of the stuff that this figure gives you he does a whole lot he has a whole lot of articulation though he is a little bit limited in this case i don't feel like he is a he ha, his limits is that much of a problem with broly it, like with like you do with the arms because the butterfly joint i feel really helps out and also the armor the way that that moves around so that you can actually you know pose pose the the arms around that's an abs that's absolute plus for me because you can get this guy posed around properly without having to have to worry about that and i love it when they can execute articulation with the armor I love this Broly, and it is probably I, my fav one of my favorite figures. I, I, though I said that a lot about a lot of the figures on this list. Though, there is one guy that I've been holding back this entire time that is probably going to surprise you. And if you have been keeping up with the entire Figure Arts line, you know exactly what this dude is. Number one, the SH Figure Arts King Piccolo. Why? Out of all of the figures, why did I go ahead and rank this guy as number one. Well, let me tell you. He has some of the most unique aspects on a few arts that, you know, really shocked me when you when you got this guy in hand. He's really tall and he's he has a whole lot of articulation. He has articulation in his tendrils, like the things on his head. Major points right there. All of the faces that he comes with are absolutely fantastic. There is no problem at all with the faces. All of the hands that you get, really, really good hands for, you know, for this guy. The fingernails on there are really well sculpted, and I am a really huge fan of that. Now, in terms of the paint, it doesn't have a lot of shading around, though. No, not a lot of the figures that came out this year have a lot of shading, but in my honest opinion, he really does not need it. Because the colors that come out on this guy are pretty much good enough so that, you know, if there was any shading, it's not really gonna be that noticeable anyway. The way that the colors on his arms stand out, and he looks great because of that. He is going to be a guy that stands out on your shelf for a multitude of different reasons. And don't even get me started with one of his faces where you can literally sh have him shooting the egg where, you know, the piccolo that we all know and love today, you know, came out. And 
That is absolutely fantastic that they went and included that. Heck, he even comes with the rice cooker that you can go in and, you know, use it with the Mufuba. And heck, heck, and, and even go and, you know, hide your friends, like, little accessories into this into this compartment. And like, oh my god, where, 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 where's my Goku hand? Ah, you lost it. <laughs> oh, honestly, guys, I know, I know this must be a surprise to you, but I really think, genuinely, that King Piccolo is the most, is the number one guy on this list. Maybe if I were to go and make this list a couple of weeks from now, I would go and say that Broly should be the number one spot, but you know, I'm going with what I'm saying. I, I really do enjoy this Piccolo. Maybe it is because I'm, I'm a little bit biased because I just recently got this figure, but I really love this guy. And I'm not even that big of a fan of Dragon Ball. I had, I love Dragon Ball, okay? It, I know that it is objectively better than, than Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball GT and Dragon Ball Super go ahead and that. But I you know I grew up I grew up with Z and I still have so much more nostalgia. So coming from me, from me saying that this is the number one figure of 2019, that genuinely means something. So take it, take it however you guys want, but he is my number one. Anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I really implore you to go and make your list in the comment section down below and tell me what you guys think are the best figures of 2019 from the SHG Watch Dragon Ball line. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a good New Year's. Anyways, this has been Star Blast Studios. I'll see you guys in the comment section. Until then.